Hey guys, how you're doing? It's Alex, the Sega Guru here, and we've got some brand new news, and this one is quite interesting in the fact that this is native emulation of the PS1 coming to the Sega Dreamcast. So obviously we've seen all the different Bleem titles throughout the years, some that work alright, some that, you know, to be fair, that's a good feat in what it is. But this is promising to be something quite different. So obviously my mate Falco... Uh, did drop this yesterday. Funny enough, I'm not sure how on earth I missed it, but unfortunately I did. Uh, but here we go. Super excited that C uh, ZCRC is finally letting us see Bloom, his upcoming GIT compiled PlayStation emulator for the Sega Dreamcast. After having some of the craziest requests for advanced cost, he wound up joining our ranks. Incredibly talented dude. And this is it. Right here so this is interesting now see i don't you know it's clearly not running a hundred percent yet but this is in its very very infancy so this is coming along very very cool so there's a lot of comments already on here as you can imagine oh by the way you can follow it all, all here the github is there you can click on that and follow it so as it progresses we can give it a go etc i'm sure like i said don't know how soon that'll be but either way Full speed, does it need or benefit from 32 RAM? Not yet, but he's working on the speed. So yeah, there you go. It's already being optimized. As for 32 meg of RAM, now that is a good question. He hangs out with a bunch of us devs with 32 RAM updates. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure it will be optimized where you're not going to need any sort of modifications, which, you know, ideally for a lot of people, you're probably going to want. Uh, so yeah, frog balls in the chat right there. Um, oh yeah, this was one that obviously a lot of people are probably going to ask. Hey, can I have a little info on what G or JIT compiled means? I'm a huge fan of new ways to emulate, so you have me intrigued. The emulator turns the game into native code, machine code that the console understands directly as it runs. This native code runs faster than the normal process of the emulator interpreting each instruction, which absolutely makes sense. It's removing a layer between the game and the machine. Falco obviously says this is exactly right so this really is i think going to open the door for i mean the dreamcast is already doing a lot of things that it was never really built to do and this is an incredible feat let me know what you guys think we'll follow this one as it kind of as it comes along across the year or so and we'll maybe we'll get our hands on this at some point that'll be really really interesting so zcrc or falco if you want to reach out about that That'd be interesting. It's always like, comment and subscribe. It's Alex signing out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As well as that, you can also back the channel on Patreon. QR code is down below. But obviously you can check out this video. You can also check out that video. And on that note, it's Al signing out.